Okay. I think that's all of them. Torrin Odin claimed to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Open this with my bare hands. Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. Here's some of our residents, or, as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes! Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Torn Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Uh, 
Ati, this is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> hey, uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box, holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dad's foot waggle. <laughs> Look at that, I don't know. <laughs> Even a Swedish name. I'm Arty. Anything good on that jukebox? Wait, I don't know good, but only Brian comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers. Old cards of Asgard. My pals. Welcome to Vikings. <laughs> Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman, they know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Were you in band? Miracle? No, no. Uh, tell us how I know it. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have seen the stage for two. <laughs> you said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? Oh, it's nothing. Presidents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. Sorry, Sada. That area is for staff only. Need the key. So, I shouldn't you know, interrupt him. The government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> So, the teens would drink there, do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home, but the bunker has a tendency to flood, especially during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesberg, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. The authorities, they, they searched the bunker and, and found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. Folks say they, they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Nowadays, Teens think the bunker is haunted. That doesn't stop them from going there. The police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people, they're persistent. Now, as for myself, an impartial journalist, I have lived here at the Valhalla Nursing Home for 
five years. And in that time, I have never heard Norris sing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for finished tango. Need to find the key. This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Breakfast is at seven. Tomorrow will be eggs, toast, grapefruit, orange juice, tea, coffee. Service stops at 9, lunch at 11. Tomorrow is borscht with oyster crackers. The other choice is stewed beef. I will have borscht. Cranberry juice or water is served as well. Uh, service stops at 12.30. as a young girl. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? Hello. I'm Saga. Cynthia Weaver. Hi, Cynthia. I'm looking for Tor Anderson. Have you seen him? Tor. Always poking people with his hammer. Oh, dear. My lantern. I think I've lost it. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for it. She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere.
Getting in is forbidden, for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand the thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. I don't have the key. Torrin Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. Doesn't make sense. are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you. Like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found Wake's clicker. 
What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Torn Odin. I'm starting to see it too. like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Yako, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey, what? what's that sound? Oh. Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls blend organic coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee World and the old dear diner. And don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fed. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Old Gods of Asgard. So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything. in the wellness center. Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that.
That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Tor's been slobbering over Cynthia. He's like a horny teenager. Uh, what's wrong with a, a little romance at our age? Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. But it's just, there's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Hey, watch out. <sighs> For puddles, you can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Saga. Tor was here. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Can't be opened on this side. lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely.
Igor needs a knob. A security computer. Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. And the doors are open. There's Tor. And he's out of his mind. Need to get to him.
need to catch up with Tor. This must have been Tor's. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoebox. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose. Um... Wake has returned. My God. <laughs> You're the hero. You're here to save Alan. Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin... Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. 
It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken. Sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip-flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, canceled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance lays the demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him? How I can stay safe? Good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book. Exciting. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> you're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. The tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. I already took care of all this. Shouldn't spend time on old questions. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside?
<laughs> the page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Emergency muster point! You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gil, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners.
Anger's remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus Remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A broken brawl tweets it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. And all folks care her. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Angus remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Key fob's no good without power. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? 
Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. <laughs> Bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young, too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them.
need something to cut this. I need to get the power back on. Key fob's no good without power. Fuse is blown. Maybe there are spares nearby. It won't open. Key fob's no good without power.
key fob's no good without power. doesn't budge. Power's off. Fuse could come in handy. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. There. Power's back on.
I can't get through this. I feel like I'm missing some context here. A power station. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. Or is a romantic, huh? Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anger's Remorse, by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? I was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. 
just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, can't whip off my soul. My face forever, seeking to be driven by passion, raging like a storm. The overlap is at the pond. This isn't real! Mom. Fuck this place! Am I going in circles? I feel like I've been here before. I think I'm lost. doesn't feel like the right way. No power. Can't use the switch. I... Garden! I need to get the power on to use the switch.
The wall just disappeared. The light did that? Dead end. be nearby.
Back again. Gotta go deeper. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga! So damn dark down here. I'm underwater! She's trapped at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Where'd she go? Tell Odin, 
I'm sorry, I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. change the story if this is the past if this is you still in the dark place then you can do that right you cannot write her in she's my daughter god damn it logan is in the story i can get him to change it i have the clicker i'll make him change it now he had no right to do this to logan my family. Tor. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. 
sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The knight's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family, way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin aren't part of my family. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app? 
Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake to stop this. The old gods of Asgar will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry about me, Joe. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. Two shots at the Anderson's finest? It's just... See you soon, Saga. <laughs> The FBC is holding Wake at the Sheriff's Station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the Clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. Focus, Saga. Get to the station. To Wake.
Alice's photos, I recognized the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. I need to get them to the plaza. I had the photos now. I needed to put them into the shoebox by the statue. Wake. 